Okay, this is uh, Unit 10, Lesson 5. Uh, what we have here is some common angles that you often see um, when dealing with things. And so common angles are like 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> and then they have their uh, radian equivalent to them on here as well. This thing that you're looking at on the main screen is called a unit circle, a unit circle. So this is a circle with a radius of one. And what it does is it helps us quickly identify uh, important um, values of things. Okay, so example. Let's take 30 degrees, for example. Okay, 30 degrees right there. All right, so other things that we can tell by this is the uh, radian equivalent. So 30 degrees is the same thing as saying 1 over 6 pi or pi over 6. Now, the real purpose of this, however, is this ordered pair that comes in here. So they give us this point that is square root 3 over 2, 1 half. And what that is, um, what that is a representative of is all of these points, all of the points, come in the form of cosine, sine. And here's what I'm trying to say, and here's what I'm saying. So, for instance, if I were to take the sine of 30 degrees, the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. Because that's what the ordered pair of 30 degrees, the sine is 1 half. The cosine of 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2. So what they're going to do is they're going to ask us a whole bunch of these different angles. Your mission is to identify the proper angle and then give the proper sign or cosine. That's the kind of kicker in this. Now, I think this unit circle will be provided to you on the questions on the test. If not, you can Google it. They're all over the place. Or a worst case scenario, I do have it on the formula sheet as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, answer some of these questions. Okay, so what ordered pair? Ordered pair is the xy coordinate. What ordered pair occur, occurs at the terminal side of 510 degrees? All right, so 510 degrees, what we need to do is we need to get this in a world of uh, under 360. So 510, I take off a circle. So this is the exact same thing, thing as saying 150 degrees. So what I do is I go to 150 degrees and the ordered pair at uh, 150 degrees is negative square root 3 over 2, 1 half. That's the ordered pair. Okay. What is the ordered pair? Again, the xy coordinate of 4 pi. So 4 pi, I subtract a circle, so that's 2 pi. If you want to, you can subtract another circle, that is 0. So I go to the unit circle, the angle is 0, or aka 2 pi, has an ordered pair of 1, 0. And okay, what is the ordered pair, the xy coordinate, of 660 degrees? So 660, take off a circle, is the same thing as saying 300 degrees. So I go to 300 degrees. Okay. 
the ordered pair is one half, negative square root three over three. Okay. Next question is asking what is the exact value of the sine of 135 degrees? All right, so what we do is we look up 135 degrees. Okay, which gives us this ordered pair right there. Okay, so this technically is giving us negative square root uh, 2 over 2, excuse me, negative root 2 over 2, positive root 2 over 2. Now, because we are specifically talking about the sine, recall that these things come in the form of cosine sine. They come in alphabetical order. So the sine portion of this problem is positive square root 2 over 2. That one right there. That's the sine. Okay. Same kind of concept. Okay, in number five, we're looking for the cosine of pi over four. So pi over four is right there. Again, they come in the form of cosine sine. Here they're asking for the cosine. So the cosine is square root two over two. Next is the sine of 180. So we go to 180. They come in the form of cosine sine. So the sine happens to be exclusively zero. Eleven pi over six. We go to eleven pi over six. Uh, we are looking for the sine of this. So again, they come in the form of cosine sine. So sine is equal to negative one half. Cosine of three pi. All right, so three pi. Take off a circle is the same thing as saying one pi. So this is the same thing as saying what is the cosine of one pi? So we go to one pi. Again, they come in the form of cosine sine. This happens to be the cosine. The cosine is equal to negative one. Knowing that the cosine of uh, 2 pi over 3 is equal to negative 1 half, which two of the following trigonometric equations is also equal to negative 1 half? All right, so let's just kind of rattle through these real quick. Okay, so 5 pi over 3, um, 5 pi over 3, uh, cosine is 1 half. 5 pi over 6, sine is 1 half. Pi over 3, cosine is 1 half. 4 pi over 3, oops, sorry. 4 pi over 3, Cosine is negative one half. Pi over six, sine is one half. 
7 pi over 6, the sine is negative 1 half. All right, so we are looking for things that also have a value of negative 1 half. So it would be that one and that one. Okay. Knowing that cosine of pi over 3 is equal to root 2 over 2, that is not correct. Alright, so this, this straight up is not right. I, I don't... Pi over 3 is at a coordinate of 1 half squared 3 over 2. And so thus the cosine would be equal to one half. Um, all right, so I'm just going to default and assume that they meant, regardless of that, I think they were meaning to say it has a value of square root of two over two. All right, um, and again, this question doesn't make any sense. So like my advice is, all right, so this original problem is occurring at pi over three, which is technically occurring in quadrant one. So only answers available in quadrant one are accepted. So quadrant one has these three uh, particular angles, um, which is that pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and they have values of 1 half square root 3 over 2, square root 2 over 2s, and this is square root 3 over 2, 1 half. So, um, So, oh, so the cosine of pi over 6, so the cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. Sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Okay, so again, I'm not exactly sure which uh, question is trying to be asked, uh, but which two have the same answer? These two have the same answer. I, that, I, again, I'm not exactly sure what the question is trying to ask because it's, it's wrong in the first place. So. <laughs> so which two of the following equations uh, have the same, are equivalent to something, and those two are the same? 